Welcome back to the adventures of Puff, the soon-to-be magic dragon, because now, my friends, we can transform somehow. Uh, I don't entirely know how to do it. Uh, burn dragon incense. Does that... Oh, hang on. But following the ancient instructions precisely, you can provide special incense that will empower your main... Oh, we have to be a dragon to do that. Oh, shit, right. I remember how it works. So it's, it's our first quest, isn't it? That allows us to become a dragon after this stage. Thank you, by the way, to the 5,000 comments I got. Uh, suggesting various different dragon names to call our soon-to-be draconic dynasty. A lot of people were concerned that this would be too difficult. This 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 playthrough would be too difficult. Oh. Uh, now I don't really care about who she's trying to kill, to be honest with you. A lot of people were concerned that, that the, the actual starting point is too difficult. You know, we're in the middle of all of these hordes. We're surrounded by people who want to raid us, and they're constantly going to take our shit. That's part of the appeal, to me. Anyway, that's, that's part of the appeal. That's part of the difficulty. As I said in discord the issue with random world in ck2 is you have half of the religions being absurdly powerful with the you know like plus one to all stats and the plus one health and then you have other religions that are just like plus two learning or with the last religion we played nothing at all so for us to have one of those super powerful religions but also be in a in a, in a very difficult starting point it's much more balanced than almost every other start we've got we don't really want to play a super powerful ruler in a super powerful province with a super powerful religion otherwise it would just be a steamroll i personally like starting points like this where we have to really fight our way up uh and we, we've been given a lot of keys already you know plus one to everything plus one health we've got the potential to become a friggin dragon after all there's a lot of things we can oh well there we are there are a lot of ways that we can fight up. And with a lot of clever positioning, I think we can break free and forge our own realm. Speaking of break free, we have the option to unleash true form. Everything you've been working on all these years has been leading up to this moment. You are at least, you are at last ready to unleash your true form. Boom. Hire more guards to keep the peace. What would your courtiers think? Oh, people react to a dragon ruling over them. Hire more guards to keep the peace for one gold. Uh, or we say nothing. Um, I think I'm all right with spending the one gold. Ah, oh, here we go. It has come down to this moment. With one last potion, you can feel your body convulse and spasm. Growing in size, wings erupting from your back, scales covering your skin. At last, it's finished. Ooh, woo, what's this? Nuzzles your scaly, waily, necky, wecky. Dragons roam the earth again. We become and dragon. Holy shit, that's ridiculous. Um, now we have dragon culture. Oh, wow, look at this. They've changed it. Um, domain tax modifier plus 10%. Fertility minus 50%. Whoa. Um, health plus 4. General opinion minus 10. Personal combat skill plus 30. And we can raid in for their name is for loot. Now we're ready. Now we're ready to, to, to kill, to slay. I think, I think our realm's gonna get out of fucking control here. The plus 4 health is nuts. Especially when stacked with that too. What are we up to in terms of health? Um, when it updates. If it even works from a cultural modifier. But I'm not sure it does in hindsight. Um... Hmm. Our health seems to be... Oh, there we are. 10.5. Good God. Um, so 10.5 is going to make us last years. Genuinely, I think we'll live to 100 easily as this guy. Now, bear in mind, it's only three generations. It's not when we play as like this guy's grandkid, for example. I should say it's three successions, not three generations. It's our third character, not when... We are up to our grandkids or something like that. So if this guy lives to 100, and our next character lives to 100, and our next character after that lives to 100, that's 300 years of dragons. That's a long-ass time. Obviously, it won't be that, because I'm no doubt some idiot will get assassinated along the way. So then, now we start working on cultural conversion. What the hell was even that? Oh, there's another one. This is what I'm talking about with these super powerful religions, right? High God, the Owl of Omniscience and Evil Gods of the Grinning Men. That's cool. Um... So we then now want to start culturally converting. We have the benefit of having the world's smallest realm right now. Flip that over to dragon. Everybody within our realm gets plus one health, gets 10% domain modifier. Minus 10 general opinion, so all of our fellow dragons will dislike one another. It should be dragons like dragons more. I guess you could say that, you know, because they're greedy and like to hoard wealth, all the other dragons get jealous, perhaps? Anyway, I like that it's also a red mountain as our, as our symbol. It all seems pretty thematic right now. So, um... Dragon, you're not wrong. And it stacks with our domain tax, our intrigue. We can now also burn dragon incense. And don't forget, we've still got to do dragon breath, I think it was. Yeah, unlock dragon breath. Um, wait. We already had where the dragon, didn't we? What was the other one then? Dragon heart? Oh, we already had that one too. Ah, oh, shit. So I just wasted 
points? I swear we already had that, did we not? Oh, well. Um, we can burn dragon incense, though, so let's do it. Um, to say it's scale with intrigue. Hang on. Um, oh, the option's gone now. The ancient scrolls tell of dragon incense that boosts mental and physical prowess. There are several recipes, each boosting a different faculty. Poses a question, which one of the incenses will we attempt to recreate? Powder of strength, the smoke of shadows, the vapors of insight, or the midnight musk, winky face. Um... Possible side effects include hypersexuality, vapors of insight. Possible side effects include heartaches, um, smoke of shadows, paranoia. That's fine. And then powder of strength include gigantism. Oh, that'd be kind of fun. To be honest, the only downside to gigantism is that you get the health negative at older ages. But that's going to be cancelled out by A, our religion and B, obviously our dragon form. What do you think? Maybe we should start working on our martial a little bit. We can't boost... Oh, we can boost intrigue, so we can't boost diplomacy or stewardship. Maybe we should go marshal them. Try and build up our realm. Oh, there we are. Um, gain dragon incense for the next... Oh, it's only two years. Uh, gives us plus two marshal. There's also a chance we gain giant. I don't think giant is too bad. It also gives tribal vassal opinion as well, don't forget. So the more we expand, the more useful that will actually end up being. Cool, okay. So those are just, like, kind of one-off things to go for. We've also got Mellorism again. Um... What do you think, then, in regards to Mellorism? What do we want to try and get more of? Again, maybe more Marshall. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Really suck if we got the plus one combat. Um, I, I really want the Marshall from this. We did get the Marshall. Thank God for that. Okay, let's start developing this realm into a battle state now. It's a final level of being a dragon, then. You kind of assume that becoming a dragon would be, like, level four. Dungeon Master. Um, enforce Dragon Culture. That's cool. And remove Lawless Presence. Remove Negative Modifier. So I guess that would be, like, your Smuggler's Ring, your Bandits, your etc, etc. Um... Okay, fine. That's really cool. And apparently, one thing I've heard is that the problem with this society is everybody can join it. Uh, and the downside to that is there are a lot of dragons out there in the world, if that's the case. And as we can see, there are quite clearly a lot of dragons out there in the world. Why not search for a draconic artifact as well? See if we can get something cool out of that. I should make a modicum of effort. Well, that's not very good. Lose 150 resolve. Um, low quality artifact with a moderate chance failure. So we need to save up more than that. I assume... 500, maybe even 1,000 would be really what we should aim for in that case. If, if 150 is a modicum amount of effort, my god. Um, we got the language. Volume 1. What does that do for us? Um, monthly prestige, 0.1. Oh, great. Just what I wanted. We want to go heritage. Realistically, we should only turn into a dragon the character that we want to inherit the realm. This kid is not it. I'm sorry, Charizard Flight and Bite, but you're garbage. Um... Spyro would be good. Bear in mind, Spyro is... Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got Timmy. That's a bit shit. But Willful and Playful are good. Um, perceptive, Burly, Tactician is fantastic for a martial character. Um, yeah, see, that's a downside to Timid. His best education would be an Intrigue. And again, if you wanted to turn him into Dragon, that also wouldn't hurt. Um, uh, what do we do then? And if we can convert our capital province, I should also point out, it doesn't matter who we play as, we can just convert to the local culture. Um... Oh, I still want to get a martial character. Even if he comes out with the lowest martial education, he's still going to be okay. He's got nine already. Oh, this is risky. I'm not sure I like this in hindsight. Can we get air designation? Is there a way to change our succession to elective gavel kind? No vassals have a negative opinion on us. We've just got to shut this one idiot up, which is as simple as doing that. Um, let's go for elective then. Let's pick the kid we want to succeed us. And to be honest, right now, I'm all about Spyro. Maybe Smog might also be pretty good too. Um, again, tall and burly. Let's make sure this kid's being properly educated by a good martial character. His mother is actually a good choice. My Baron appears to be a dragon. <laughs> um, well, how did that happen? He's also become a dragon? I wonder, oh, I bet the, the previous owner died and then got replaced by the, the, the culture of the person who owns the county, which is unsurprisingly us. Very weird. Okay, um, but yeah, I've heard the dragon size. He can get a little bit out of control at the higher level, so we do need to keep an eye on that. Um, beat the child, give the child deceitful. That's a little bit better. Right, when do we need to rank up then? Uh, so, okay, so there can be multiple dungeon masters. Uh, you just need 2,000 resolve and to have been a dragon for three years. Fair enough. That's going to take a while to get there then. Hopefully, they'll trick us some more missions in a moment. To be the better council, and to be honest, we've got a lot of better councillors just sort of waiting in the wings here. Man, we need gold. Um... Build a legend, I guess. You organize a raid. We can also settle tribes, don't forget, when we get uh, a dragon ruler. Or when we get a dragon steward, we can settle tribes instead of having to pursue this one. Because this could be fairly expensive. You'd assume it would be fairly expensive, given that you are culturally converting a province. Um, no, I can't afford it. I want to build up more buildings for levy size. Wait, 
Have we, like, lost some progress in the save? Because obviously we did use Where the Dragon last time. I swear we built the Market Village. Or maybe that's where they burnt down our... Maybe that's where they burnt us down last time. Um, mass 500 gold again. All right, fair enough. So, oh, I was going to say, do we want to go raiding? Evidently not. How long till that modifier fucks off? Oh, it's gone now. Okay, let's let our troops reinforce and then we'll see what we can do. Wow, okay. Um, I will admit, I was not expecting Charizard to come out mighty touched. What a shit character. He's such a mix. He's got all the makings of a really good character. Midas Touch, Bright, Burly. I mean, then he's, then he's got Dull, but he's got Erudite, Deceitful, Paranoid, Diligent. All his traits are good besides Dull. And then obviously Savant really holding him back there. But say that he's got 12 stewardship out of everything. Wouldn't make for a bad Becca pair, definitely. How's Spyro looking? Um, <laughs> not good. Okay, he came out with 11 Marshall in the end. Oh, fuck. This whole dynasty is so screwed. Um... Oh, that's really bad. Fucking hell. Oh, they're burning down my friggin'... They're burning down my stuff faster than I can build it here. We are in like a really, really, really bad situation. This might be one of the hardest starts we've ever had in CK2. Um, shit. Well, let's see how it goes. Again, part of the difficulty of, of this playthrough is going to come from how we managed to excel. Like, it's not about winning, obviously, because we're doing the randomizer. But uh, it is about... Trying to succeed the best we can, but this is fucking hard. This is, like, unbelievably hard. Um, we have to go raid, obviously, to not be at peace. Just to get a bit of prestige. Not the matter. They're going to immediately smash us. Holy shit, really? Are they going to come and raid us next? No, they're not. They're raiding their other nomads. No, now they are. Oh, this is unbearable. What the fuck? Uh. And there goes all our gold again. Oh, my God. What? I, ca I can't outbuild this. Every time we start building something, they come in and raid us and destroy it. Can we fabricate claims? Fabricate claims? You up for uh, fabricating some claims? Get me the fuck out of here. Let's leave. I think we, we set ourselves up on a nice little island. <laughs> Even that's got two straight crossings. Are there any islands we can flee to? What well, nomad island over there? You can't have too many troops. Bear in mind you're stuck on a bloody... Oh, that's our religion. Oh, look at that. Okay, um... What do you think? Fabricate a claim and get the fuck out. I don't want to play on another island nation, but Dragon Island and then coming back swinging might be a better idea. Right now we're trapped. Is that part of the empire we're supposed to be building? Uh, it is. It is part of the empire we're supposed to be part of. I mean, it's not really that far away either. Um, at least there we'd be safe. It's a hor- Oh, we can't even fucking reach it. We're out of Diplo range. What kind of Diplo range is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, holy shit. What? Okay, we can... Holy war. Liberate. We can liberate. Uh... Dukum. Dukum. Uh, he's a lucky ruler, though. Bloody... What the... Havel? Get out of here, Havel. I thought that helmet was looking a little large. Um... 25,000 men? This is an impossible start. What the fuck? Uh, can I liberate against you? No. So our only borders are with a person who has 32 fucking Marshall. Um. Is this already a big F? I don't know how I'm supposed to. We can't build anything. We, okay, right. Let's look at this logically. We can't build anything because whenever we start building, they will just come and raid us and smash it down and take the gold. We can't afford retinues because we can't build the buildings to give us the retinue cap. We can't leave this province because the only places we can fabricate claims on are, is a realm that is disgustingly powerful. What do we do? We could save up money and buy mercenaries, but how many... We, we will never, ever be able to afford enough mercenaries to topple 25,000 men led by a guy with 32 marshal. Um... Bear in mind, that would be 385 gold and 61 gold a month just for 14,000. We'd have to hire two of these. So that's going to be 600 and what's that? 735 gold plus another 90 gold per month. And that's just to match him. Let alone be able to be, be strong enough to be able to beat that army led by them. So let's assume we have to hire all three. That's 1,000 gold plus another 120 gold per month. And even then, how the fuck are we going to afford that when we are on 0 0.04 gold per month? Genuinely, I'm not even kidding you. I might take a big F on this one and go elsewhere. Because I don't think this is winnable. 
Um, what can we do? Even when the lucky ruler dies, the realm looks to be fairly stable. I mean, it's massive, isn't it? Fucking hell. They're the ones who have the border with Jeremiah Topoli. Um, I mean, even then, the next guy coming up, 19, Marshall. Legendary commander, raider. He's got some insanely good traits as well. Even if this guy takes control of the horde, we're going to get our ass handed to us, unless they splinter on succession. Um, God damn, what the hell do I even do here? Oh my god, they took Jeremiah Topoli as a tributary. No. Havel's too strong. Warwick Davis Scatterbrain. Is, is he fucking converted? What has he done there? Oh no, it's still the same religion. It wasn't always that. Maybe it's because it became a heresy. Um, how do I beat that then? How do we beat such reckless hate here? Are we going to have to just call this and say that we're fucking done with it already? I think I am. I think I'm going to call it. We are trapped. We are. We exist right here to be drained of cash. Maybe Chief Puff could fly the fuck away because he's a dragon. Maybe we fly the fuck away and go elsewhere. What do you think about that? I think that's a goddamn good idea. Um, I wanted to stay within Diplo Range because of our previous area, but I feel like Tikovskia is just going to fucking annihilate us. Um, where, where else is within the Empire then? Because that's that's within Diplo Range, or, or it's supposed to be within within range of the randomizer anyway. Whereabouts in the Empire could we fly away to try and rebuild and come back? Uh, nowhere I'm interested in. Let's put it that way. Holy shit. Uh, it's just all horse lords everywhere. God, I hate fucking nomads. Look at them. They're absolutely everywhere. And so it was. Mighty Chief Puff came to a title trade agreement between him and a random gullible idiot up in Gotland. And so it was. He was free. No more nomads. No. Oh my god, they're island nomads too. Oh, come on. Anyway, after a lot of diplomatic convincing, I managed to convince a man that, that our province was rich with this strange black liquid that he called oil. And thus, we have traded our province for a shitty little island up in Sweden, where we can hopefully be safe from raiders, and although it's by Sweden, so I guess that's not really going to happen, uh, safe from raiders, and safe from, more importantly, me being impatient. Here we are, Gotland, our new home. We're going to rename it, no more Gotland. We're going to call it Shit, what the hell's Draconic? Uh, 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 drag, I can't think of a pun. Hang on, bear with me. Dragon Island, the greatest name I've ever come up with in Crusader Kings 2. Inspired, straight, and to the point. That's the important thing here. Here we are, Dragon fucking Island, led by Chief Puff. Never has he never lived anywhere elsewhere other than Dragon Island. That's why it's called Dragon Island, because he's always been from here. All the dragons have been from Dragon Island. What the hell is even the desert anyway? Never heard of it. So, welcome back to episode one of uh, Chief Prof the Magic Dragon, where we're playing over on Magic Dragon Island. <clears throat> oh, my concubine's imprisoned. Oh, let me guess, by nomads. Yep, fuck off. Sorry, I got very angry at the game in between episodes and uh, screamed at my computer for a while, and uh, here we are. Right, okay, good then. So, Dragon Island, good. Um, let's rank up, first and foremost. Let's go back to the uh, higher level, and we can make Dragon Island... Proper Dragon Island proper. Here we go. Um, right click on the title shield of a county to convert the local populace to dragon culture. Boom. Dragon culture. Dragons have been spotted flying over Dragon Island. Who'd have thought it? Strangely, the majority of the population have chosen to welcome their new dragon overlords. See, it's canon. It's a it's thing. In, we flew over the Dragon Island and the, the dragon people worship the dragon overlords. Token resistance that has since gone to ground. Interesting. And look, dragon buildings. Led by a dragon man with dragon culture. What Can we build any sort of specialized dragon buildings? Warrior gathering. Okay, that's not much use to us. Uh, dra dra dragon tower. Dragon. Uh, a dragon house. Where do dragons live? Okay, nothing there. That's fine. Now we've got a cult. Now we've got a religious convert. Actually, what was the local religion here? Um, identical to our own. They worship the fertile mother and they dislike the smith of pain. Um, I think our religion is cooler still, because it's a red mountain. I know it's red because it's a heresy, but it is kind of cool still. Okay, um, we don't have a court chaplain. That's not a problem. Immediately, no, that is a problem, because that's exactly the thing I want to do here. Um, took an employment decisions. Invite a shaman to court. Smokey Fizzberg. 
<laughs> he sounds like a jazz player. Smokey Fizzbug. Okay, um, can't make him court chaplain because apparently for whatever reason we can only make court chaplains out of the people that like these guys. Um, wouldn't it be a shame if we were to go full North Korea mode right now? Just imprison it all, execute the lot, replace them with fresh dragon stock. Yeah, good luck. Go into rebellion. See if I give a shit. You give the council complaining as well. Oh god, we've got eleven troops. Are you kidding me? Imp revoke title. Can't. Why? Twenty-five prestige. Oh shit. And if we revoke it from who's this guy? Oh, it's the guy we convinced to give us this. Oh, what? So if I kill him? Oh, that's annoying. Um. Shit. And we're tribal anyway, so we can't really hold. We can't really hold castles. Uh, can I build a new tribal holding? We can. Um, it's very expensive when you've got minus 698 prestige. I will admit, the first generation is playthrough. We might just have to throw away and accept that this is fucked. But then in the future generations, Little Dragon Island. A steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he's devised a plan to bring exotic goods into the realm. Let's do whatever we can. Just do whatever we goddamn can. Holy shit. Um... Prosper while it lasted, the shepherd community in Dragon Island can no longer sustain itself because dragons are eating all of the sheep. That's fine. By this man, a dozen strong horses. Maybe that's why the shepherd community can't exist, because we took all their horses to wherever the hell we is. That's how far we went, really. You went from Sweden to, uh, Sweden. Mainland Sweden. Brilliant. This must be stopped. I agree. And we become best rivals. Why can nothing go right for this man in this playthrough? Riding upon the countryside to get... Uh, riding through the countryside together with my escort, I come across a lovely inn. It's empty aside from a nervous looking innkeeper who nevertheless promises food and wine at a very reasonable price. My party and I sit down at a table. Ooh, that could be a problem. Um, who are we going to have to... Oh, it's Ignatic Gavel kind. Well, soon after the innkeeper disappears into the kitchen, you notice a foul odor emanating from somewhere below the floorboards. One of my escort pulls open a board loose to reveal a massive manure pit. Before we can react further to this bizarre find, the floor explodes beneath my feet. Ironically, Puff the Magic Dragon disappeared <laughs> in a puff of smoke. Here we are. Now oh, we're feudal now. Oh shit, okay, fair enough. Um, we are now playing as Starosta Charizard, Flight and Bite. We've got to get back into the fucking... Hang on, convert to local culture, right? Um, convert to local culture, Dragon. We need 250 prestige. That's not far off. Character two of our three generation limited random ruler challenge. That's fine. Honestly, Puff the Magic Dragon, say what you will about the man. But he got us Dragon Island. As you saw with that event that was added to the game by definitely not. I, it actually wasn't me this time. By that event that definitely works the way that I presented it to work. Excellent. Okay, here we are then. Um, a fresh slate to work with. We've got decent learning. Unfortunately, it's a bit pointless. Um, decent... Stewardship. I want to say decent Midas touch there, but that's not what that's called. Um, should we build up our martial skills a little bit? I think that definitely couldn't hurt. Let's go ahead and have a babby be formed or get married. I forgot that we could do that first and foremost. Marry our own mother. Yeah, marry our own mother. Sure, for a couple of years. Uh, take the prestige. We can marry our own mother. Hmm. I'm not sure. Reign of sign of shadows. What the hell is that? Uh, join us right of adulthood. This character tried to curry the favor of tricks to the spirits, painting his face in dark colors, hoping that, oh, that's not very good. Help, hoping they will help him conceal his intentions and strike his enemies. Murder plot power plus 30%, and his father was assassinated as he was his heir. I'm not saying that we may have found our murderer, but I have a strong suspicion who may have murdered Puff the Magic Dragon. Everybody knew that Charizard wanted to murder, would murder Puff. We can become a desert father. Abdicate to Spyro. Hang on a minute. Do I want to do that? Do we want to swap a stewardship character for a worse character overall? No. Uh, I don't want to be a desert father. Fuck off. So apparently we can just abdicate whenever we want. Become a moneylender. We can borrow money from moneylenders now. Holy shit. Um, did I accidentally do a brig brain play and not even realize? Knights of St. Mark. Who? Order of St. Anthony. Um, I think we'll go for the dragon kin again. Obviously, actually, we don't need to. We can just... Actually, but dragon culture does not turn us into a dragon, though, does it? It just makes us, you know, like dragons, enjoy the dragon lifestyle. We want to be a dragon lord. How is your revocation allowed? 
Turn that shit on. Revoke that castle immediately. Um, the castle of Rome. Yep, that's what I was after. Go ahead, revoke title. Just take, just honestly take the opinion loss on the chin. Okay, he wants a fight. That's okay by me. Drag him in prison, revoke his titles then. Or, or not, because we have no fucking troops. Where are all of our troops, though? Ugh, okay. Um, fine. We can borrow money, don't forget. So now, we become a tyrant a little bit to help restore order. And this is a necessary part of the dragons taking control here. Um, just give me a few... I don't need to, I don't need thousands and thousands of troops. Just give me that. What the fuck are they, even? Oh, really? Do we have any ships? Well, ain't that some shit. Okay, uh, give me that then. Is that enough to pick them up still? It is just about fucking out. It's lucky. Right, merge those. Get on there. And then, oh, board game's fine. Oh, God. Another another board game where I'm going to have to cheat to win. I mean, never ever done that. Never never once have I done that. Um, I don't know the options to win this, I'll be honest with you. Oh, apparently that one. There we are. Good game. Student of strategy. Right, give me a frigging castle. We're taking back control of our new empire. Knock this shit down. Done. Right. In my prison. Get your shit revoked. Boom. And, more importantly, we were able to revoke the title without tyranny as well. So, well, actually, we, we got tyranny from trying to imprison him. But we... Or trying to revoke it. But he went into rebellion. So then it became a justified revocation. We still took the tyranny. But not as much as we would the other way around. If that makes sense. Plus, who cares? We've got two vassals. I don't give a shit about them. Um, if this guy were to die. And then a fresh vassal were to turn up. Who knew nothing of our law-bending ways. I could, I could work. It could be pretty good. 68% um, right. Let's see if we can't convince some other people. Spyro might join us. Spyro, join me. 81%. Got ourselves a spy master. Preferably likes us. Oh, God. This guy's really good. Build a spy network here. Oh, you know what? We're on track again. I've redeemed it. Somehow we're, somehow we're back in the game here. Uh, Fight smiles upon me. My mother wife is pregnant. Excellent. Tell my mother wife to take leave for the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, no. Fucking Puff the Magic Dragon would be rolling in his grave if there was any of him left. And if dragons could roll even. Um... Oh, Christ. She is a famous beauty, after all. And, and again, we married her because she's powerful and strong here. Or tall and strong, sorry. So, high chance of this kid to come out at least somewhat decent. Bear in mind, our guy's also burly as well. So, the chance of him getting one of these many inheritable traits. Henrik. Oh, no. He's inbred. Who'd have thought? Oh, no. This is fun as well. Oh, fuck. What's going on with these traits? That's not how that's supposed to work. Something's, something's fucking with these traits here. Bright and... Oh, he's terrible. I'm going to call you... What's the worst dragon who's ever lived? She's the worst dragon who's, who's ever existed. Uh, That's a hard... That's a hard question. There we are. The worst dragon that ever existed. Right, okay. Um, we had a son, tragically. Uh, he's a completely deformed mess. He looks like a botchling from The Witcher, I would assume. Let's go for... Become a trained fighter. To be honest, that probably couldn't hurt. Because that also, as I recall, gives a little bit of... Uh, oh, we could become a duke. Oh, right. Because we just need to control Dragon Island. That's normally, obviously, the Duchy Gotland. But now we are just Dragon Dragon Island. We've always been Dragon Island, I should point out. Why am I uh, willing to throw my mother wife into prison? She wants to take revenge on Isbor. Did Isbor kill our father, then? She didn't know something we don't. Oh, for God's sake. You notice Maya standing next to you. He contemplates helping you, but it's not responding to your pleas. Uh, we are now also a drunkard. This campaign has been cursed from the get-go. Absolutely cursed from the get-go. Uh, cruel? Intrigue plus two, general opinion minus ten. We can't afford any more. Oh, no. This is, this is cursed. This is, this is fucking cursed. Let me just, let me just print screen that. That's, that's cursed right there. Oh, hang on. She's also 45, by the way. Maybe she... Oh, well, I mean, if it comes out inbred, evidently it's either our child or one of our brother's children. Um... Hire someone to find out. What if it's actually not ours, though? Confront her directly. Mother wife, have you been cheating on me? No. 20% um, chance we lose the trait paranoid, which is one of the things of the Dragon Society, don't forget. I mean, we're also literally too stupid to join the Dragon by a long way. I think we just convert to local culture Dragon. Take that and then hope we can spawn in some more Dragon characters. Marry one of our Dragon children to our Dragon characters. We're also now a Duke. Uh, Duke Charizard. <laughs> oh my god, somewhere, someone at Game Freak has, has never been happier watching a CK2 campaign. Okay, um, but in peace for too long. Right, we can do the raiding now. Oh, what a turn of events, huh? 
I hope our next character ends up being somewhat martial. I feel like we might just end up being Dragon Island and that's it for this particular playthrough because I don't know what the fuck I can do in three generations to make this. Mer? Oh no, she's even worse. She's even worse. Oh, what are we going to call you? Um, what's, what's a, what's a bad, I'm just going to call you fucking like Gecko. Like that's a bad dragon right there. You can't convince me. May the horse of hope help her. My mother wife, she may die from her pregnant. Um, Isbor, attempt to save my gecko. Are we even able to get much loot from this? Because they are all tribal. Actually, they got a lot of loot. Is the womb still in working condition? What a fucking just horrendous thing to say. What is this? This whole thing is so cursed. This is the most cursed episode. Maybe we should just leave it here. There's a lot of cash though. My God. Um, sure. Take my posseries. Uh, and advancements of our personal combat skills. I think, honestly, after the extremely cursed day that is today, I might just leave Dragon Island as Dragon Island. As long as we can convert the religion and just fucking put a pin in it, because this has been one of the weirdest, most awful CK2 campaigns we've ever started. Yes, though, I think the Dragon Kin Society is cool enough to potentially do a full playthrough of. Like, it genuinely seems a very, very cool idea. Maybe if we limit it so that uh, unlanded characters besides the player can only be dragons? Um... I mean, it would be really cool to do, like, a dragon playthrough. It's a shame there's no religion, but, you know what? We could always dig something up, see what there is. I could be persuaded to be able to do, it like, a full dragon playthrough just in, like, base game CK2 or with CK2+, Plus or with HIP or something like that instead. Because um, I feel like this, this society definitely warrants more than what we've got right now, especially as they fleshed out the culture, too. That's quite cool. Let's leave it here. This one is this one's been a curse. It's been an absolutely fail. I mean, look, they've already been vassalized. Absolute failure of a playthrough. Way too powerful off the bat. The randomizer fucked us. This is ridiculous. I'll be honest. I think the HIP lucky ruler system is something I will never touch again because it has made the balance all over the fucking place. I thought it would make the AI more interesting, not absurdly overpowered. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe we'll leave the Chaos to Order series here. I didn't really want to leave it too, too completely languish, but... I want to refine the idea. There's something here that could be great, but we need to reassess what we're doing with it. This is so cursed. Thank you all for watching. Um, I think we will leave this series here, though, because this is a little bit fucked. Uh, not only that, but the save game has become... I, I hopefully have done a decent job of editing it out. Um, it's become pretty unstable already. Just going from one character to another. And again, we've got HIP. We've got quite a large mod pack. So I'm not really surprised about it. But the instabilities are starting to show themselves a little bit. This is something more for base game CK2. Which isn't really my speed. But I imagine if you were a big fan of base game CK2. This would be kind of the perfect thing for you really. Going for the, for the random ruler challenge. Trying a bit of freshness to it. Anyway. That's the end of the dragons. I want to save that for a full playthrough because that could be a lot more fun. So we'll consider this a mini series, just looking at the Dragon King Society. I'm impressed, but I want to do more with it than just give it a shitty series. Thank you to Michael Mullen, Aromatic Fool, Zurich 3 and 3, Crow Skull, Chesty, Ninja Tree 5, Orvi, Paul, Limpy George, Northern Bear, Jackson Woodman, Darth Hawk, Tyler Candle, Archronks98. For their support, the Insanity Lovers on Patreon. Thank you guys for your support, making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you as well goes out to. Muck Wild Bill, Big Weeb, Organized Confusion, Swifty21, Smooth Octopus, Nick, Hajidamar, Jackson, Asaro, Gothamo, Tofu10, Tiger Rifter, Monty, Adamen, Jessica Smith, Silent Sentinel, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. Big F, big failure for a series. Rare I would just kill one off like this, but holy shit. That was, um, I'm starting to see the cracks coming in it now.